Hi, Victoria Beckham has just added lipsticks to her beauty range and I have just received three of them. So in this video I'm going to swatch them, apply them on me and finally I will tell you my opinion on these first impressions. So if you are interested just keep on watching. If you already saw one of my videos, thank you for returning and if you are new to my channel, my name is Marisa, welcome! In here we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle for all women, but of course, considering my age, I have a special interest and focus on over 50 issues. So if you think that this content might interest you, please consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. If you have been following my channel, I'm sure you are aware that I've been reviewing all Victoria Beckham Beauty makeup line since she launched it. And so when the news came out that she was going to release lipsticks, and she calls them the posh lipsticks in honor to her name when she was part of the Spice Girls, I knew I had to get them. So there are nine lipsticks which supposedly provide rich color and deep moisture due to natural oils and waxes like avocado oil and rosehip oil. They have a soft shine and of course, like the rest of VB's line, they have a clean vegan formula. They are mainly nudes, but there's also a red, a plum and a brown shade. So with that info out of the way, let's go to the application. So this is how the packaging looks like. This is the typical recycled cardboard packaging from VB Beauty. And uh, this is the lipstick with the tortoise shell motif. It's a very pretty packaging, very pretty component. I really like it. Although I have to say that it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. It looks a little bit similar to the Superstar lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. Slightly taller and a little bit wider, but it's the same idea, like a fat cigarette. Taking in consideration that I have a cooler undertone and that this formula is new for me, I got the two pinks and the red. So I'm going to start by applying the lightest pink, which is called Pout, and it's described like a pale coral pink. So when you remove the cap, this is how the lipstick looks like. And it has VB on the top of the lipstick. I think this one is going to be a little bit too light for me. Let's see if we can make it work. In terms of methods of application, they say to apply one layer for like a lip balm feeling and moisture and two layers for a deeper color and they have a very very slight scent to me it smells a little bit like rose but it's very very light it doesn't last either so this is how pout looks like on me and as you can see it's very very light from her range, the best lip definers are the 1 and the 3. I don't have the 1, which I think would be the best one for this shade, but I have the 3. So I'm going to apply that one for us to see how it looks. So this is how it looks with the lip definer number 3. And this is just about as light as I can possibly go. It's a very nice color, I like it. But for me, it's definitely a look. I could use this one if I wanted to make a 60s look. And the pigmentation is not the strongest because I can definitely see the berry tone of my lips through the, the pink of the lipstick. But they feel very comfortable on the lips and they are not sticky, just lips slide very easily. So the next pink is called Sway and is defined as a mid-tone berry pink that pairs with the lip definer number 3. And I'm going to like this one very much. As you can see, it's a very pretty pink. This for me is like an everyday shade. So 
so this is how Sway looks like on me with two layers and I think that it definitely pulls on the cooler side of the pinks and I think this one definitely suits me better so this is how it looks with the lip pencil and I'm going to show you now swatches comparing the two shades that I have just applied with some others in my collection which will allow you to make a better idea of what the shades are exactly. And I'm now going to apply the red one, which is called Pop. And this one is defined as a cherry red. It looks like a classic red in the bullet. So this is how the red looks like, pop, and I definitely can see a little bit of orange in it as well, by the way it pops on my skin, but it's a very pretty red, definitely. This is how it looks with two heavy applications, two heavy layers, because with only one I could still see my natural lip color below. I got the lip definer in red as well because I know the lip definer formula and I already have three of them, the two, the three and the four. doesn't have a number, just says red. I really like this red. Well, in truth, <laughs> unless the reds are very orangey, I like them all. <laughs> it's my favorite lipstick color, it's red. But what are my first impressions on these lipsticks? Well, on the positive side, I think that the shades that I got, the red is beautiful, the, the berry pink, it's a very wearable one, and the lightest coral pink, it's a very pretty color. On me, it's a look. The other shades that I have seen on her side look very pretty as well. There are some warm shades, the berry and the brown, but at this moment, I cannot say more than that. I think that the two lightest beige colors would be too light for me, especially taking in consideration Another point, in my opinion, a more negative one, which is that the lipsticks are not extremely pigmented. In all the three shades that I got, I could see my lip color through it. In terms of the level of shine, I like them. And in terms of the level of moisture that they provide to the lips, it's still too soon to tell you what is my opinion. I have to wear them for a full day, one or two days. But this month I will do my first faves and fails video at the end of the month. So you can expect to have my full thoughts on these lipsticks on that video. Also, if you are interested in my review on all other products from Victoria Beckham Beauty makeup line, as I said, you will have all the other videos that I did below on the description and on the cards above. And this is it for this short sweet video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope it was useful for you to make a purchase decision. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for the time that you have spent with me. Until next time, bye!